Hey folks, I'm Trevain Glory and welcome to part 38 of my campaign as Alexander in Divide et Impera for Total War Rome 2. Uh, starting at Sardis here, uh, attacking Lydia once again, and it's only the garrison army that we have to deal with. But I'm going to fight this one um, because I don't want to lose our Sirisa Foroi here. So we'll go ahead and fight the battle. Um, so they only have the four units of infantry, four units of archers. Uh, we don't have any cav at all, really, apart from Alexander. Let's just go ahead and start deployment. And they are on a wee bit of decent ground, protected in one flank by impassable terrain. Uh, let's do a wee bit of reorganisation. And then something like that should be good enough. But we'll bring you back to there. There we go, make sure that everybody gets in together. Um, the slingers, we only have the two. And archers. Oh, you're constrained by the impassable terrain down here. That will do there. Let's make sure you guys are both in skirmish mode. And... Then we'll have you in here. With our... Yeah, pikes are there. Okay, that's fine. Baggage train, you can sit back there. These guys there. And... In general... Let's get you into uh, Flying Wedge, thank you very much. Couldn't remember what it was called there. Uh, right from the outset. Right, and we'll go with that. So let's bring you up around there. You up to there, and um, you don't need to run. We'll bring the infantry. Somewhere like that. And our general's going to come up this flank. So they're staying put. They've got their cavalry on each, cavalry on each flank, as you'd expect. The archers in the middle. Uh, and this is passable terrain in here. And I would expect these guys will advance before we get uh, too close. So they will be able to probably come out here if they feel like it, see what happens. But that's why we've got, I've actually forgotten about them. Uh, you're coming up here, just to provide an extra bit of cover in that flank. Leave you behind. I will bring this cav up to there. Uh, the reason being, hopefully they'll be able to do some chasing down when we defeating these guys. Alright, just about in range. Uh, let's swing you out around there at the run now. I'm going to take you off, shoot at will. Slingers, you target them. You target the other cav. But you target them too. You come forward and you're going to charge into them. Right, you attack there and you switch fire to their missile troops and you stay on them. Uh, let's bring you guys back here now. Uh, they're running. So let's have you all change your target across here. How have we done? Down to 90. And they've broken. Uh, let's pull the general out. 
to here for now. And you switch back to there. You get back here. And let's try and get you into Phalanx. In fact, you all form Phalanx. They're going to charge in. That would be great. You get on the move up there. Go after the missile troops. You attack them. Right, you down here now. You target them. You turn and attack there. You come forward. Uh, you, I want to attack them. But for now, uh, archers actually. Where are all the archers? Could you all come back down here or up here? Right, our cows charged in. You turn and face. You come around here. You target them. You all charge or target them. You turn like so. Right, you turn attack here. You get into there. You target those guys now, and let's actually send this cab forward. These guys have broken, so cab, go and finish them off. They're breaking in there. Chase them down. You go and attack here. Uh, you should come into the back of them, and this cab, you go and chase there. Let's have you target that calf if you can. And they've recovered, I was about to send the baggage train after them. We might do that still. Right, continue for now. Target those guys. They're done. Gonna attack there. You stay on them. Where's the other, uh, other stingers? That's in there, I think. Send the baggy straight out after the lancers. It's a bit ridiculous, I know, but never mind. Right, you go chase them down as well. There's only 60 of them. Get that. Come back in here. Okay, and um, we'll fast forward. You still in them? Bring all the. I think that was slingers back. You face them off. Just about, how about up here? I think there's 10 men left up there. And they're gone. Okay, so we'll end the battle here. 24 losses is good. 157 kills for the, was it 24 cavalry I think we had in that unit? 610 for our general. Ni bad. And Sardes, I am not going to occupy. We could liberate, actually. I was thinking about just raising it, but why don't we liberate it? Yes, I like that idea. You get three quarter stack in there straight away. No doubt you'll like me quite well, too.
What I'm thinking about now is I would imagine the Achaemenid Empire aren't too far away. You've already moved. Um, and we have Lydia over here. I think I'm going to reconsider my options in here a bit and I'm going to merge up these units to get as many full strength units as possible. Not with these guys, we'll leave them for now. Um, I'll leave this as a Faroy as well. If we move you or put you back into normal stance, right. So I may be able to get some. Yeah, some you know, transfers done in here. Let's bring you all the way up here. Advance. So you're behind the Skillion. Not that we've got a garrison in there worth speaking of. And you, you can come right over here as well. Ready for battle. Right, 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 okay. Ready for orders. How best to manage this? Want anything else in here? We need more cav in here. I'm going to trade out the baggage train. So yeah, you come over and transfer some units. So as I said, uh, baggage train comes out. You can come out too. And I would transfer in. Actually, maybe we want to leave. I'm going to leave that in for the moment. And we'll transfer that unit across. Well, wait a minute, I want to get rid of some of these guys as well. So let's take out two of them. We'll bring in this cab as well. That's all fine. So if we accept that and Ready for orders. Oh, I didn't transfer in that cab. God damn it. Okay. Commander, oh, of course we can't do that again. Um, right, let's have you. How do I do this? You come up here. Right, you get rid of your baggage train. I should have merged, I think, these two units up. I think we'll take out one more of these. So if we did that, Transfer in. Yeah, those two. Make haste, men. Um, okay, uh, because I wanted to have these two units and these two to merge together. But everyone's got. 20. Oh, you've only got 19 now. Could you possibly... We hunger for battle. Nah, I don't know. I don't want to merge them. We'll get the reinforcements. Oh, we're not getting reinforcements, actually, are we? So let's just go ahead and merge those two. Creates a wee bit of space. Uh, you've got 24 in there. Actually, 
let's transfer them in there. And then can you transfer units to the other, or from the other army? If you bring in them, that's you up to full strength, but I would want to merge them eventually. And bring in... Can't do that. Oh, we don't need them, do we? No, we've got... I normally do three and two, three slingers and two archers, I think. So if we try that out then, right. So Alexander, we'll see what we do with him eventually when this other army gets across. I think we'll just merge them up right now. We just leave it like that, although I could have transferred them. I'm actually just going to merge them. There's no point having 54 men there. Merge them. And they're already at full strength, apart from this guy, so that's okay. Right. Took me a while, but I got there in the end. And you know, we don't have anything to do down here in Discillion. We've got all the construction underway. Um, I'm not going to build that still. Everything in here we did at the end of the last part. Factions, politics, we're at six there, so we're fine. 53% influence is also fine. Uh, diplomacy, that's something new. The Ionian Greeks, you love us. How about Athena gives trade? Wisdom, so that you may speak well and persuade me of your cause. How about client Welcome. state now? I didn't think so. Um, so trade and uh, payment, I suppose. I don't think you're going to join a war against anybody. What about even if it's Lydia? And I give you some territory. You would join there. Hmm. Interesting. Fine. We'll take that and payment. How much would you give us? Uh, no, down one, still one, right, try that, good, I hope you don't die straight away in this war against Lydia and we continue to get some trade from you. And Sparta, looks like they're on the march, uh, as is Epirus. Hopefully they're coming over to help us out. And uh, Taras as well. Nice. Okay. Well, let's end the turn and see what happens. We know that Lydia had another one army down here. In fact, there's another couple of armies. I'm glad I pulled back from Sardis and I'm now a bit worried about having included them in the war after all. Do you have... Any sort of garrison in here? Um, yeah, no, not really. Got the units, but you don't have the manpower. So anyway, let's go ahead. We'll end the turn. <laughs> Decian tribes. I'm not interested in peace with you. You are of no consequence. Putting in that break at the last episode just before this battle was a bad idea because I had completely forgotten that there were two armies down here. If I had taken Sardis or left Alexander sitting there, they could have been in real trouble. Ionian Greeks, where are you off to? 
<laughs> what is the outcome of that then? Economic intent. As your dominions grow, the need to fill your coffers increases. Of the many lucrative endeavours are open to you, which seems the most profitable? 10% wealth from all commerce in all regions, 5% tariff income from trade. Uh, one food in all provinces, or 20% wealth from industry. I think we're going to go with trade. We've got 13 surplus food at the moment, and I think we can get more easily enough. Not sure how much we get through trade compared with um, agriculture or commerce and agriculture, I should say. But we'll take the trade. Ionian Greeks no longer able to trade. Another child is born. Population surplus in Dacia. Interesting. Okay. Um, and we got our calf. Right, Seleucus, so let's have you come down here. Um, I don't think we need to push you any further south. Let's bring you back up then and we'll try settlement sabotage again, rally the slaves. Success this time, excellent. And Seleucus gets an increase in rank two. Well, let's deal with that right now. Um, increased campaign map movement range would be all right. But I like the extra uh, plus 5% chance of success against the enemy agents. Minus 5% public order penalties and minus 5 public order and the rally slaves. So, take that. Demoralize army. The morale of all units will be based, reduced by 4%. And an extra minus 5% chance for hostile actions. I don't know if I really want to bother with that so much. Uh, plus 10% wealth from adventuring. That's interesting. Two hundred wealth gained after a successful action. Hmm. I'm not sure any of these are massively helpful to me right now. Cause 10% damage um, to a single unit in an enemy army. Minus 10% action costs 200 wealth after a successful action. We'll take that and we could increase it actually. What was the other one I was thinking about? 15% income from raiding, but that's only an apparent army. Unlocks action, commit arson, 5% damage to a single building. And then, yeah. Plus 10% wealth from adventuring. As opposed to bumping that up. I think we'll go with the audacity. Thank you, Pergamon. And over here, you can call me yeah, I, th I do want you to come across here and scout out a bit for us. Who's this? Cappadocia and Lydia. More Cappadocia. Right. Um... Want to try and assassinate. Don't think it really m matters there. How may I serve you? 
He's a general. My skins are yours. I think these are all just generals around here. He's a good enough looking general. Let's try and assassinate him. Oh well, it's not her first wind. Won't be her last. Right, this nonsense up here. Do I want to do anything different? I think we can leave you as you are. The companions of Alexander. I think you're okay. Could even potentially bring you over. Yeah, I think we can. No, I need to wait until this army's stronger. We're making plenty of money just now. So I think we'll bring Alexander across to here. And you can sit in ambush. We do that, and then these two. You can do with some more cav, and another unit of hypostasi or something. Um, yeah, maybe. What can you recruit actually from here? Right. Oh, we've got some new archers. Can we get some Axemen? But that still leaves one space for one Sarissa for Roy. I think I'm going to merge them. And then You can only get to there, seriously. That is a pain. I wanted you transferring men in already. Okay, come up here then. Well, let's... Hmm. I'm just thinking about this group of armies that they might well come up to attack Diskillian. Maybe I should bring Alexander back. Yeah, I'm going to bring you back in behind here. We'll play defensive for now. You just come over and stand in here. Fortify. Before you fortify, let's transfer in. Um. Oh, we're transferring in here. Transferring it out from there. Yes. Oh, we don't have the cav. I was transferring in them. That's the one. Yeah. And we'll get one more unit of Sarasafaroi when they're available, and that'll complete you. So you can fortify there. Uh, let's bring you across here and you can also do some recruitment before you cross I was thinking about bringing you over there and putting you in ambush but there's no point doing that we don't have um, a decent garrison in here it's very very weak so we'll just leave you back there in fortify as well And we'll get some infantry in here. Are you ready to serve? Two of those. Um, I think we'd rather just stick with the class bidets for now.
Yeah. Okay. And still can't do any construction in here. How much? Yeah, Eleven and a half thousand. Yeah, we're not going for the Mega Frurion. Not until well into the future, if at all. Ah, uh, we do have Dacia. We've got an extra slot in here. Uh, squalor isn't a problem. Food is fantastic. So let's see. A training field. Nah. I want something a bit more um, immediately useful. Siege Engineers Workshop. We probably do want that somewhere. And this might be as good a place as any for it. Um, do you, you don't have any resources. Hellenic culture could do with an increase. It's not problematic. Well, Dacio Thracian is um, increasing. I just need to bite it and go for another temple or a shrine of Athena. Hmm. I don't want Dacian immigrants. Subterranean aqueduct. No, I think we need to with the consecrated ground, to be honest, to get our Hellenic cultural influences. That's disappointing. I didn't want to do that. I wanted more military buildings. Never mind. We'll get them somewhere. And... Um, we should maybe try and retake the Ionian Greeks' territory for them. Eventually. No urgency. As long as they keep their army avail uh, intact. Nothing going on there, but it does remind me of... I need to head back up and find Damianus. There he is. So you carry on down around here. And with that, I suppose we can end the turn. Everyone's moved. Yep. Okay, so let's move on. In fact, then I will put in a break. Once we see what happens here. Dacian tribes didn't come for peace or for this time. Achmenids. No sign of their army yet, but no doubt they'll appear before much longer. And of course, we're at war with Cartley and the like up there too. Spartan army on the march. Ah, yep, our friends are coming across to help. More than I could have asked. Oh, seriously? Ionian Greeks, what are you about? Who's that? Uh, no, it's Lydia that's come forward. I don't know why you... Bloody hell, they are coming forward. Um, I don't know why the Ionian Greeks decided to send their army across there, but... Uh, okay, well, we're going to... I think I might just fight this one off camera because we're going to be defeated. So I'll probably fight that off camera, bring you guys back in the next video. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I hope to see you again next time. Cheers. <laughs>